This month is actually, uh, we looked it up, it's uh, STD Awareness Month. <laughs> this has got to be a month for everything, man. Yeah. So we, we want to be aware of uh, STDs. And, uh, you know, this is something that I think a lot of people just kind of like, okay, you, you know you got to use protection, you got to take care of yourself. Uh, and I haven't really heard a lot of talk about STDs recently. I think people just like kind of know they're out there. But have you seen a lot of them come through your doors there at the uh, at the office? Yeah, I think the reason people don't talk about it now is it's so mainstream. By some estimates, 50% of the sexually active population between 18 and 30 has either HPV, that's warts, herpes, or chlamydia. 50%? 50%? Half wow. Half of the population in that age group yeah so oh, that's a lot so if you're hooking up on saturday night uh look at your partner uh, one of you has an std probably exactly <laughs> wow that's right and, and, and let me tell you what, what the saddest thing is is when you get a 16 or 17 year old coming into your office who's got something growing on his penis and you're like yeah that's a wart that's hpv and then you have to tell him it's a virus this is going to stay with you forever and they're only 16 17 yeah. years old and they're starting their sexually active career already with an STD that they can pass on. Now, is, is HPV, is that the most uh, prevalent STD that's out there? Uh, chlamydia is probably number one. Really? Chlamydia? Yeah. Does yeah. That, that it sounds like that's like like an ancient thing. That people, no, cl- uh, chlamydia is probably number one. And the thing about chlamydia is it's often asymptomatic. You don't always know that you have it. Um, hmm. When you get it bad, you get it really, really, really bad. Um, but a lot of people will just say, you know, I've got this kind of strange discharge from my vagina i've got the strange discharge from my penis but it doesn't hurt it doesn't burn it just looks a little different and yeah come in get tested and we start wow. antibiotics. so you're saying that, that that's the the most common one that's, that's probably wow. number one Oh, How's it look different? Oh, no, don't answer that. <laughs> don't Never mind. Never mind. Right. This is radio. We don't want to paint that much curious. of a picture, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So how, like, how contagious is chlamydia? Is that like, you know, even without symptoms, like say your partner doesn't have symptoms, can you still catch that? Absolutely. Incredibly contagious. Really? Incredibly contagious. Absolutely. Wow. Yep. Now, the herpes, is that... <laughs> the um, herpes. The, the herpes <laughs> virus that we're talking about, is that something that's always contagious or are there outbreaks what's the deal with that so the problem with both herpes and warts is they're contagious even before you have the outbreak oh no in that prodromal phase as we call it just before you're about to get the outbreak you're probably the most contagious <gasps> um and then usually once you have the outbreak well you know you have the outbreak you start on valtrex or something mm. like that um, and you, you start to treat it. But just before it comes on, it is uh, incredibly contagious.